I want to help you solve every edema question on step one. So let's say they give us a 55-year-old man. Let's say he's got a 30-year smoking history. He's got some worsening shortness of breath. And the question says that there is no swelling. Let's say the exam shows that he has a barrel-shaped chest. He's got diminished breath sounds and scattered wheezes. And the extremities show no edema. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Well, what I want you to understand is that there are three main factors that promote edema. The first one is increased capillary hydrostatic pressure. The next one is increased oncotic pressure. And then lastly, impaired drainage. And that's the impaired drainage of the lymphatic system. So let's say this patient had right heart failure. Let's say he's got progressive exertional dyspnea and maybe he's got some COPD in there. That increased anteroposterior diameter of the chest and also the decreased breath sounds is very common in COPD. So whenever you have right heart failure, you have a need for a compensatory fluid balance mechanism because increased central venous pressure is going to lead to elevated capillary hydrostatic pressure. And that typically is gonna promote the fluid movement into the interstitial space and that could lead to edema and we don't want that. So something has to counteract this effect and that's why it's the increased tissue lymphatic drainage. What is the role in lymph? Well, if you have Heart failure, then increased lymphatic drainage can temporarily offset that elevated capillary hydrostatic pressure that we talked about here. And it does that by enhancing the removal of excess interstitial fluid. Although the lymphatic system can increase its capacity to drain fluid, in the context of right heart failure, the ability to compensate is going to be limited. And so this is going to explain why somebody might not have edema, even though they have signs of heart failure. So basically this long smoking history and physical signs of COPD in that pulmonary hypertension, maybe some core pulmonale, and that elevated right-sided pressure increases capillary hydrostatic pressure. And that typically causes peripheral edema. However, Early in right-sided heart failure, lymphatic flow increases to remove the excess interstitial fluid, and that temporarily prevents visible edema. So for edema questions, look out for these three forces here. One, capillary hydrostatic pressure. Two, decreased oncotic pressure, and then impaired drainage. All of these things are factors that can cause edema. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe.